Hello and today we're going to be comparing two pens that are kind of rivals in a way. One being the Bic round stick pen and the other one being this Papermate Ink Joy. I will be talking about some of the differences between these pens, some of the similarities, and what makes one of these pens better than the other one. What are their strengths and what are their weaknesses. So the first pen we will talk about is the Papermate Ink Joy. This pen has a tripod grip. These come in different colors as well. Um, there's more colors with the Papermate Ink Joy. The writing experience is pretty smooth, as I can show you here. And the tripod grip of it is good for beginners and people that are wanting to improve the drawing and they're just starting out. Or for advanced people that just prefer the tripod grip. Personally, I do enjoy the tripod grip, which is something I do like about my fountain pen such as the Lamy Safari. As long as I can get it right. I haven't drawn with this one in a while. But it draws really smooth. You can hold it at a steep angle. It still draws really well. Um, the ink goes on good. I'm just scribbling at this point. And these do come in a lot more colors. Now the big pens, this is a fine you have the fine, medium, and then you have the larger, the bolts. Now, if you want a really thick line of the big pins, you can go with the big crystal. Those ones are 1.6 in size, so they're a lot larger than this one. This one has a round barrel, and these don't come in as many colors. The colors that I have seen um, have been red, blue, and black so far that I know of. As far as the fine size, if there are other sizes, um, let me know in the comments of this video um, what other colors there are for this because I haven't been able to find any other colors that is in the fine uh, size. So the ink on this goes on really well. Now, just kind of scribbling. So let's go ahead and talk about how the ink works, such as. Um, no line width, any feathering. We're really not really going to get any feathering with the ballpoint pen um, because the lighter you are with the pen, the pressure, um, the lighter the line is going to be. So let's go and do a smudge test with this. This is going to be the Ink Joy. A little bit of smudging, which is expected with a ballpoint pen but you don't want it so bad where your fingers picking up most of it and they seem pretty similar from what I can see in this the only thing is, is maybe the big has a little bit more um, smudging than the uh, paper mate ink joy and this one is a 1.0 size and bit more comfortable in the hand I will say compared to the Bic but these are actually cheaper the Bic pens you can buy like hundreds of these for not that much I mean you get packs of you know what 12 or 24 for like less than five dollars um, and they're convenient we can find these anywhere at like any Dollar General Walmart or um, something like that um, so I don't I don't actually see these ever at uh, Hobby Lobby or nothing like that um, it's not really a fine art uh, pen but the line width here um, for the big round stick and you can do some light drawing with it as well just hold it at an angle and very lightly press now we can try that with paper mate ink joy and see what result that we get This one seems to be a little bit harder to try and get lighter lines. It feels like it is letting out a little bit more ink than the big ballpoint pen. So if you want something that will make um, more crisper lines that you don't have to press as hard and um, you don't have really any um, shading as much, then the paper mate would be the good choice. But if you want something to where you can really draw portraits, and do some shading with things, such as if you're drawing, um, you know, side of a face that's in shadow. Um, this is going to be a good pen to use for that. 
because of the ability to shade really easily with this as you can see I don't really have to um, just apply a small amount of pressure and you can get that shading effect with it so the big ballpoint benefits would be that better for shading but it does smudge a little bit more the paper mate ink joy does not smudge as much has a tripod grip but the problem is, is that you can't do as much shading with this pen as you can do with the big round stick so if you're wanting something for drawing uh, portraits I would go with the BIC. If you want something for doodling or just doing more of a, a line art, such as if you're drawing something for uh, designing a coloring book, you can go with the Paper Mate. Although if you're drawing something that would be for a coloring book, um, the outlines and you know, doing all the line art, you're probably better off with something such as a um, technical pen like this, a fountain pen such as that, Lamy Safari, or a uh, more advanced technical pen such as the got it over here roaching isograph so those would be the better options if you're going to be doing line art to uh, design a coloring book because these will smudge and if you're scanning the art that's going to come up it's going to be a bit of work to um, get that taken off of there but anyways um out of these two pens personally i prefer um in the long run the big round stick because there's more options as far as size but if you want something uh, more fun with more colors you can go with the paper mate ink joy and uh, just personally because of that the shading of the bic it allows me to do more realistic drawings and i can do a lot of different stuff with my abstract artwork so if you have any uh, questions about um, these two pins or any other pins you'd like me to go over in the future in another video go ahead and let me know in the comments of this video and until then, go ahead and share this with your friends. Give it a like if you'd like. And um, any other general or random questions, I'll be here to answer all those. But until then, I'll see you in the next video, and you have a good day.